these changes are now law here in D.C., correct? Do you mean the revised criminal code? Yes. Uh, no, those are not the law. Those are not the law. Did, with you, the, you the revised, revised you, you criminal code them. was uh, rejected by... Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, I'm talking to Mr. Allen. Yes, Mr. Allen, did you or did you not decriminalize public urination in no, Washington, D.C.? Did, did you lead the charge to do so? No, it, the revised criminal code left that as a criminal charge. Did you lead the charge to decriminalize public urination in Washington, D.C.? No, ma'am. Did you ever vote code, in right? favor of decriminalizing public urination in Washington, D.C.? The revised criminal code that was did passed by the council ever support kept it as a criminal offense. Did you, did, and you support this? Criminal? I voted for it, yeah. You voted to keep it as a criminal offense. That's correct. I've been addressing a number of really serious concerns that our constituents have. Uh, they're choosing to waste our time by meddling in the District of Columbia and talking about public urination over and over. Just want to make sure, do you have anything additional you want to say about public urination? Now's your time. I do. Um, um, no, not you. I'm talking to, <laughs> it's, not, it's not your time. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a question I'll wait to till these your time's people up. who have I do come have here. Else to say. Um, do you have anything additional to say regarding I, public urination? Is there anything that's off limits for Lauren Boebert? Every single one of us are called to reconcile people to the Father, to let them know that God is not in heaven mad at them, Amen. that he is not imputing their sins upon them, that he didn't send Jesus to condemn them, but to give them life. That spit was anointed. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> Glory. That spit was anointed. You're a Christian. Many members of the House uh, have preached and voted as Christians. Lauren Boebert is one of them, who's invoked God and Christianity and values very often. She was caught doing something that was a little unseemly on camera the other day. What do you say to Lauren Boebert? I say that if you're going to talk the talk, you need to walk the walk. I mean, we all answer to God. Not everybody's a Christian just because they say they believe in God. I mean, Satan believes in God. Satan knows scripture. She's out there saying the most dangerous thing in America is drag shows, and yet she's at a family event with her hand between some guy's legs. What do you think of that? Yeah, I don't know about in public. Do it in private, but she's a good looking girl. <laughs> I want to talk about Lauren Boebert a little bit. Have you heard what's been going? Have you seen the stuff recently? All right. So she was in a theater the other day. Uh, this is a person who said that drag shows are the most dangerous thing in America, and she's at a family event, and she's basically got her hand between some guy's legs and caught on camera. What do you think about that hypocrisy? I mean, here's the deal. I think at the end of the day, we can all be hypocrites at certain times in our lives. And, you know, for me, if God saved that in me and, you know, understanding what's right and what's wrong and leading my life through faith and choosing not to do those things. I think that a lot of people put on a show for camera versus when they think that they are behind closed doors, Governor Newsom, certain other people, Pelosi, what they're doing when we're all shut down in a pandemic. It's a lot of people do things behind closed doors. Are you aware of what happened with Lauren Bowie? What <laughs> and what do you think of that? And, you know, she's talking about family values and then she's at this family. Was she was wrong. It was inappropriate what she did. You know, at this point. Pretty much any time we see or hear from a Republican is somebody like Lauren Boebert or Marjorie Taylor Greene, who's just being absolutely ridiculous. And while that may get them a lot of attention and a lot of clicks, at the end of the day, the Republican Party really isn't doing that well right now. Donald Trump may still become president in November, but ever since the reversal of Roe v. Wade, Republicans are losing in election after election. Democrats are overperforming in the polls than what the polls suggest. And Republicans are underperforming than what the polls suggest. There was no red wave. And they're not making these comebacks because red states are determined to pass these egregious bans, these six-week bans, where they you know, end up throwing people in prison for helping uh, a woman to obtain an abortion or a doctor throwing them in prison. It's ridiculous. So, you know, it's, it's fun to watch the clown show, but ultimately it really is uh, producing losing results for Republicans at the election polls.